Hello Aries and welcome to your reading for the beginning of December. This current year and we're about to go into next year. Hooray you survived. Congrats. Yeah yeah pretty much you know. <laughs> but congrats to everything going on with you. I'm really happy. Um, I'm not going to do a December to January. I'm actually going to do a um, New Year reading for the all around 12 months when it comes up. The next reading I do, so don't be surprised. Don't get impatient. Don't freak out if it doesn't like completely sound like it makes sense because it's supposed to happen throughout the year. It's going to be very vague, but I'm going to go by month by month and do my best. Okay. Uh, hmm. Stuck a little bit, like, in balance or financially? Interesting. Anyway, it's time for your guys' reading, so I hope you guys are going to have a wonderful Christmas. And I hope you have a great New Year the next time I see you, and I'll probably wish you that again. Right? The holidays are upon us. The last one's... Well, we still got a few more. Does, does New Year's count as a holiday for the previous year or the next year? Because there's literally like one on either side of that day. It's Eve and then Day. So it's just kind of like, which one's which? Because they're both kind of like parties. No whammies on this. Okay, let's spread them out, Aries. Magician reverse, possibly you right there. The Empress. Ooh. Beginning theme is... They go down here. No, they go up here. I don't know why I was reading it backwards before, but... Eh. Beginning theme is maybe some issues with the past right maybe some childhood trauma maybe something happened oh my goodness um yes two seconds i didn't even get started holy crap that was pretty quick aries you are the first i have to say all right so here's the magician reverse right kind of like lack of ability to adapt or manipulate things um Possibly creating some really whack out experiments, right? By chance, not by purpose, though. Like you were trying to do one thing and it ended up becoming another. And it kind of left you feeling like blah. And with the six of wands reverse, like something didn't go in your favor. And then the Ten of Swords is clarified double time with the Ten of Swords. Feeling really bad about it. Feel like you stabbed your own self in the back. You're wanting to end what you're wanting to end and it's becoming really difficult to end it. Like It's like endless betrayals. Like It's definitely ending. It's definitely um, a situation that feels like it's going to keep continuing. And it might, but it's still ending. So. It's like an endless cycle of torture, I reckon. Then over here we got the Seven of Pentacles, where someone's trying to bleed a tree for some extra stuff, maybe a little bit of alchemy, maybe we're trying to develop the fruit more to see if they can get something. I don't know if it's going to be successful or not. That's what someone's wanting to do. Like, they're trying to manipulate and adapt the situation to bear more pentacles than what's on that tree. Trying to give it one less fruitful harvest, I reckon. With the world below as what's going against them. Like, the cycle wasn't ended correctly. Ah, 
Sorry, I had something in my eyeball. And with this person who's trying to um, bleed this tree dry in order to, like, get a bigger harvest. Like, they're definitely on a move with the Knight of Wands. Could be you. Aries or Sagittarius or Leo. But you're writing back to this whole, like... I think I fucked it up, but it didn't work for me. <laughs> and feeling like you failed once again. And putting yourself in this feeling of, like, an endless cycle of torture, maybe? And this is causing, like, a cycle not to complete correctly with the world. Because there needs to be some temperance, I feel like. Maybe a Sagittarius is involved, too. Maybe there ne needs to be some, like, calmness and communication here. But I feel like that's just not going to happen a little bit, too. Like, no matter what you do, it's still going to come out being, like, Fucking doodles. Right? Right. Then, over here, we have the Empress in the fear. Someone being a mother, or even a mother figure. Someone who is nurturing, caring, understanding. Someone who tries to give generously and display your love in the form of a flower, I feel like. Like, she's holding that up to show her frailty she's she's afraid she can't manifest either with the magician reverse here he is on the other side how someone's feeling and how what someone's afraid of like, I, it might be some mother who feel like she can't cause something to happen or things just aren't working in her favor or no matter what she tries it just keeps getting worse i feel like and then down below in the catalyst and the final result, someone is definitely insecure to death and it's ruining them and making them into a really bitchy queen of wands. Once again, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, lots of fire, or at least a decent amount of fire anyway. But uh, she's, she knows things she might even be keeping secrets. I like to say that in this deck, she is a liar. With the ending theme being, oh, there was some manipulation, but someone didn't win that prize they were originally going for. And now it's causing some bad memories up above. Yeah, like all of this, like, betrayal over and over and failure and not being able to adapt. Like, that's definitely causing some regrets, but, you know, you got two cups left uh, over there. There's a bridge over there. Get the fuck over it. Go shop into the mall, man. Cross that river and let things go. Um, especially if it comes to you not being able to make a decision with this Knight of Wands riding in to, like, make something work. Like, I feel like someone's going to the past a little bit to try to, maybe even a past lover to try to make something work. Because here's some cup right here. The magician has a cup. But all this is like, ugh, I failed. And it's like, you know... There needs to be communication involved with this cycle that's not ending right, but someone can't come to a decision with that. And then over here with this, like, Empress not being able to manifest once again with the Magician. And someone feeling completely insecure to the point where they're kind of, like, keeping too many secrets. They're trying to keep control with the King of Wands, possibly Leo, most likely, because he's the king. Why not? But there's also Sagittarius and as well as you. Aries, and he might be looking back at everything being like, Ugh, I don't like this shit. Like, I have regrets, but I don't know what to do. And he's just looking back on all this that's happened so far. Not even realizing, like, how that's feeding into this problem right here and this identity crisis up here. Right? Right? Maybe you're trying to evaluate all of that, Aries. But if you are, good luck to you. And I will see you guys for your New Year's reading. Have a good one. Bye-bye.